back to Call for Help. If you have gigabytes of MP3s, you've got to have a quick and easy way to relabel their tags. Not the file names, but the tags that are actually built into the file. It's the best way to organize your collection. Roger Chang has a free yes, MP3 tag Yes, in fact, uh, if you have a hard drive MP3 player, all, of, all the new ones actually demand that you have them in order to do sort and do playlists within the MP3 player. It'll just, it, the file name's meaningless to it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have anything, some uh, like the Dell DJ will name. show the, but it's very clunky. Right. It's a lot easier to, if you want to sort by artist, by theme, or by uh, album cover, it's a lot easier to have all these tags put in. Now, Windows XP has some limited tag editing capability in the properties, but it's hard, and you can do one at a time. Yeah, it's and it's just not very good. So yeah, this is a little more sophisticated. This is a this is a much better solution. This is right. MP3 tag tools, and all you really need to do is actually open the directory that you have. This is all our MP3s. Here. This is all my country MP3s. The that same I ones have. that we've listened to for the last two years. Okay. I haven't listened. To all them right, now concept. these are file names. These are file names. Okay. And you'll notice that some of them are colored this weird brown color. Yeah, what's the that other, mean? That means there is no information in any of the oh. ID3 ones. Oh, we got to fix those. Now, the cool thing is it lets you do both versions, version 1.1 and version Version 1.1, what does that mean? These are the two different ID3 uh, tag versions. Oh, they changed the... the, the there's right. there's two, and what the ID3 uh, version 2 allows you to do is add more information that you ha oh. didn't have before. And the beauty is you can actually take a group of them that, for example, say all these are ready right here, already have all their ID3 1.1 tags, but they don't have anything in the two. Well, this one does have in the two. But just say, for, for argument's sake, they don't have it in the two. You can actually just copy them over ah. using this uh, simple-to-use copy ah. tool. Now, what's the synchronized tags? And I'll bring them back and yeah, forth. Yeah, just synchronize all the tags Excellent. between Excellent. each other. Excellent. And, you know, it's, it's a great way. For example, oftentimes I have all these already filled out. So these are tags here. These are all the tag information. Year, genre, track number. All this. And sometimes I don't have a genre. I have all the information, but without the genre. So what I do is I just uncheck these boxes, and I do actually I do a select all, uh, select all files, okay. and I make sure all these are unchecked. Then I can change all of them without worrying about changing the title. You artist. could take all your country songs and make them Euro House. Yeah, I like that. And confuse and, play and confuse a trick people. On your but the beauty <laughs> is that I'm changing one aspect of the tag without changing everything. All the others are maintained. So it's a great way to do across-the-board changes without having to worry about changing. And a great thing is you also can do lyrics and pictures. Pictures are used with certain MP3 players that allow you to pull up the album cool. cover so you can figure out what album it's cool. from. I notice it also has a file name cleaner, which is very handy for those yes. funky file names that sometimes you get. So it's sometimes too stuff. long, and certain MP3 players won't allow it, right, and they just right. cut it off. This is a nice little program. It's a great way to, I, s to sort and organize. I actually paid money for a shareware tool to do that does, that's probably not even as good as this. It's a great way. MP3 Tag Tools version 1.2. It's available from our website, techtv.com slash call for help. Thank you. The Notorious ROG.